Hi guys, Fiona Zaring here with Red Carpet Report. Today we're at Paley Fest talking to the cast of Grace and Frankie. We're roughing it. <laughs> How awesome is it to be here at the Paley Fest? It's it's very it, it's very nice to be invited. Yeah. <laughs> Are you looking forward to seeing some of the fans, seeing their reactions? Absolutely. I've never seen it with an audience. That's oh. one of the things that's different, not only uh, the difference between film and, and TV, but um, something that's streamed. Uh -huh. I've never seen an audience watch it. That I hadn't thought of that either. It's gonna be, I think gonna it's going to be, nice. be a special moment. I think it's going to be nice. great. It's pretty good. Uh, your character, I think, is such a fascinating mix of he couldn't get his life together, yep. and now he's got this perfect little world he's created for himself. What has it been like for you to play such a unique guy? For, for me, a little bit of work always kind of seeps into Ethan. Um, so to be able to play somebody that really just wants to be happy mm -hmm. and do well for people around him, um, and he's also pretty stupid. Um, <laughs> it's actually made me, for the past six years, I've realized Ethan's a lot happier. You know? I so love that's soaked, that. It's soaked in a little bit. To your real life. Yeah, I read less too, so I'm a little <laughs> dumber also. Um, but you can't, you know. You're the only person I've seen with coffee on the carpet, so I don't know if that's dumb. That trying seems, to get that the brain seems pretty smart to me. It's hard to get it going now. <laughs> um, well, you get to work with some incredibly talented legends. Yep. Six years later, has that worn off at all, or do you still show up to work and get butterflies? Every single time, it's just as thrilling as the first time. Um, we, we do a table read before each episode. We all get together, sit down, and read the upcoming script. And each time I'm in that room around those people, it's it's one of my favorite moments in this business that I've ever been able to experience. That's amazing. Is there any wisdom that you've picked up from them along the way that will stick with you forever? I've learned a lot about comedy from them. And me, personally, trying to break down how they effortlessly do it. How, because Lily is a comedic genius. But she's also an amazing dramatic actress. And then Jane, one of the best dramatic actresses that ever. we've ever had. Right, right. Comedic genius. So I'm trying to sit there. How do they how do they play something so genuine and from the heart, yet making it funny? And of course it's a combination of the words and the situations that they're put in. But they do these little techniques that I've they do them effortlessly too. That's amazing. And have you got, you've started filming season six, is yes, that true? Yep. Okay, so I'm sure you can't really tell me anything, but what can you tell us? We have to wait a long time, so what can we look forward to? Lil Lily Tomlin's in it. <laughs> um, Jane Fonda's in it. Sam Waters, Martin Sheen. You're in it. That's about all I can say. That's all you got. More, <laughs> more happy things coming for Coyote? Uh, Coyote's doing good. Okay. All right, that's Coyote's, what we want to hear. Coyote's doing good. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Absolutely. Have fun today. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Too. Cheers to you. Cheers. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more interviews. And in the comments below, tell us what your favorite episode of Grace and Frankie was.